17 hours ago, Lex Friedman posted, some days I feel like a loser. Elon Musk replied, same. And in this video, I want to explore the truth. Why does Lex feel this way? Why does Elon Musk feel this way? And why do you sometimes feel this way, I assume? Does it have to be this way until you because even if Elon Musk and Lex Friedman feel this way after achieving, well, what many argue is many successes, then the illusion that many people live in, the belief that only if they have more money, their dream, car, house, whatever it is, that then they don't feel that way anymore. They don't feel like a loser or however, the, whatever that feeling may be. Disclaimer, I may make a lot of assumptions for Lex or Elon. They don't have to be true for them, but they could be true for you or for many other people or for the vast majority of people. And by the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, 23 years old, did over four and a half million dollars in revenue, hired over 50 people, only to find out that those things don't matter to me. What I care about is the truth. So what is the truth here? Why do you feel like a loser, Lex? Is it the idea that you should have things that you do not have right now? A girlfriend, a wife, maybe kids, because you're already 30 years old, or that you've said something that you shouldn't have said to maybe one of your employees? Let's talk about the first one. This is really based on conditioning. The idea that you should have more than you have right now or should have something that you lack right now. If you had the decision power to control how you felt, you would not choose suffering, would you? And this is important to see because it means there is something you do not yet have control over that is affecting your state of mind. And I believe Lax is known for, well, his unsuccess in love. I'm not sure if that's still true, but let's make the assumption it is. Then I think we can say that there is a desire for a wife, a girlfriend, maybe kids. And because that isn't yet there or not the way you want it, there's pain or negative emotion, feeling like a loser. And maybe that feeling is increasing. For example, when you see your friends being happy in a relationship. So it seems like you're trying to escape from this negative feeling. Not so much the getting your girlfriend or the wife or the kids. You just assume that that would be the way to, the, to escape the negative feeling. But isn't this an endless cycle? On days where you feel balanced or good, there's no problem. You look for those days. But on the days when you feel like a loser, you try to escape it instead of looking into it and really find the deep, often hidden root of the feeling. Why do you feel like a loser? Even Elon Musk, why do you feel like a loser? On some days, some people may say, well, just accept it. It's part of life. And is this true? Yeah, for almost anyone, this is true. There's ups and downs in life to almost anyone. But does it have to be that way? It doesn't. And I think it is not so much about not feeling like a loser. Because on the days where you do not feel like a loser, you feel another negative emotion. Maybe you feel stressed. Maybe you feel heartbroken. Whatever the feeling is, it seems like anytime there is a negative emotion, we do not want it. It should, it should go away. But this hasn't worked. Pushing it away or techniques. I'm not sure if you have ever tried meditation, which is one of the more popular techniques. But have they really worked? I assume if you watch this video, you still have days where you don't feel good. So the truth for virtually anyone who does meditate it only works during the session maybe a few minutes or even an hour after meditating you feel some relaxation this is not the solution to this cycle because it repeats itself and it's very easy to look at your own life and your own results and see what has worked for you which could be nothing unless you were looking for a temporary solution but that's not what i'm interested in i'm interested in the question how can elon musk Lex Friedman and you never feel like a loser again. I assume there's a reaction within a lot of people right now. Probably in you there's a reaction right now. The mind maybe says something, well, I'm not sure if that's possible. Because do you know someone who does not feel negative anymore? But it is possible, just like Elon Musk will make it possible to go to Mars. Or has done things that he really, really wanted. And just like Lex and you have achieved things in your life that you really, really wanted. So could the truth be that there's very few people on earth that really want bliss, continuous contentment, satisfaction? Could that be the reason? why there are so few people and why you can't think of anyone why there's a big doubt in you which almost manifests itself into a lack of interest because if it is deemed as impossible well let's look for something else which almost always results in temporary pleasure chases i mean you can just read the comments on the post let me do that right now because it's embarrassing don't be weak stay hard does this work you are human assuming this is normal accepting just that it's supposed to feel hard tough that there's supposed to be struggle i mean for elon how can you go to mars without struggle without feeling bad sometimes right there's so much conditioning in this 
That is true. But does life have to be struggle? Or could it be that if you knew the truth of why in this case you feel like a loser, that the feeling simply disappears? Would you feel like a loser if the doctor told you you were going to die tomorrow? Maybe you would. You would maybe think about your unrealized goals or things you do not have. Perhaps you would look at all the things you've done and gotten and the things you're proud of. But the truth for many is that they will die with a full calendar or an empty one. That they will die with people around or almost alone. That they will die with unrealized goals and dreams and aspirations. That they will die with unfinished problems, open tasks, mistakes that need to be solved. Is this acceptable to you or can you die to the idea that you are a loser? Because isn't that what you care about most? Perhaps the ratio of how good you feel versus how bad you feel in a day, in a week, in a month, in a year. Not whether you go to Mars or not, not whether you get this guest on your podcast or not, not whether you make this amount of money or you get the wife or the babies and the kids, but the feeling that you get from those. Simply the ratio between feeling good and bad. What is really the truth here? If you continue living this way, like you're used to, the things will keep happening the way they do. You try to solve it, and it seems like you solved the problem. You made it up with your employee, your partner, your friend, your children, or you bought the house, the yacht, the car, or you found love. But then the next problem comes, and you've not yet have a solution for that. And then you solve that problem, and that's a cycle. I keep asking, but do you accept this? It's not normal, even though everyone around you has accepted this. They would not say so if you ask the question. But if you're still watching this, then I'm sure your mind has asked you or me, well, how? You keep saying it doesn't have to be this way, but how then, Jordan? And this shows just more conditioning. So much looking for how to do it. Could it be that you wouldn't ask how? That you wouldn't ask me how or anyone how? Only if you really knew it was possible to end this cycle. That just as the way you've gotten the thing that you wanted most in life, that you would find a way to peace. It is never about the how. And that it's simply about the desire and the realization that it is possible what you want, whatever that may be. And that it is just about acceptance of the consequences of your desires. In this case, if you do not really, really want to end this cycle for the rest of your life, and if that's not the thing you want most in life, then it's just about knowing the consequences, that it will continue to happen, which isn't bad, but that is just simply the truth for Lex, for Elon, or I would say the vast majority of people. And I do not try to convince you to change what you want, but it's simply about what is the truth here, that if you want to build the biggest podcast, for example, that you will very likely will do it if that's what you want most, but you will continue to have ups and downs in life. If you want to go to Mars most, which seems to be the case for Elon, and there's nothing bad with that, and that will likely happen, but he will continue to feel ups and downs in life. To me, that's not acceptable, and I'm not good for this, and Lex Friedman is not bad for being okay, accepting the consequences, and wanting something else more. That's the truth, and there could be many reasons why Lex feels this way, and that he could find peace in that situation, by really digging deep and finding the truth, which I can't do right now because I don't know the specifics, but that Elon and Lex, and probably you, keep feeling this way if you do not know the truth. And if you want to work personally with me, one-on-one, -on -one, physically or virtually, then I'm sure you will find a way to contact me. But I only work one-on-one -on -one with people to whom money is not a problem. And we are serious to everyone else. You can find my free newsletter somewhere with exclusive access to perhaps the most important thing in life, the truth. Talk soon. And here's my poem about the essence of this video. Some days we feel like losers, even those who've climbed so high. Elon Musk, Lex Friedman, you and me. I wonder why. Chase, success and money thinking they will make us whole but even with achievements we can't seem to fill that hole it's not about the how but what we truly desire do we want eternal peace or just to put out each new fire the truth is in the choosing what matters most to you and accept the consequences of the desires you pursue so feeling like a loser will continue to emerge ending this cycle is not your biggest urge